Hi, everybody. How's uh, everyone, everyone is doing? I mean, kind of be tired today, uh, yesterday, so a lot of people are like, kind of like, uh, you know, still looking forward to a more like a good topics. So uh, today I'm going to talk about the empowering AI with decentralized data. So, um, uh, so for a lot of people, like, um, I think, uh, you know, data is such a short word that is so powerful in a way that a lot of capital are chasing after it. Uh, it, it so even uh, when these chat GPTs got so popular uh, from the beginning of this year, and uh, so in places that chat GPT is not available, uh, like China, um, so there are a lot of uh, successful stories. So one, uh, some guy I know that make a bunch of money this year by creating a down me app that basically utilizing the uh, ChatGPT uh, APIs. Uh, and, and, but they're marketing them as the Chinese version of ChatGPT, and a lot of people believe in that and, and, and purchase it. So yeah, that's a, like an uh, anecdote what's happening uh, in, in China right now. And um, so, so today I'm gonna talk about like, uh, you know, decentralized data. So, um, um, so um, I think like uh, when when we go, uh, go into like uh, you know this uh, AI stuff and all this uh, uh, you know what's happening in in the world and 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 in and in you know places like China is that um, so we are uh, trying to uh, you know basically uh, utilize Filecoin network and I, I believe that Filecoin will be the uh, backbone of the next generation of of AI data layer solution. So uh, before that, let's uh, make a short introduction of myself. So my name is Joey. I'm the uh, Chief Marketing Officer of SFD Portico. And uh, I was a data and uh, information engineer for a telecom company in Manhattan uh, for uh, about three years doing this uh, data analysis and data mining uh, kind of work. And then I went back to China in 2018 uh, to a city called Chengdu. Uh, it's the uh, hometown uh, of pandas and a, a spicy food called hapat. And I think a lot of uh, people who have a Chinese background will understand what I'm talking about. And uh, so, yeah, I, I went, uh, but, but back then, Chengdu is famous for, uh, is, it was very famous in blockchain industry because it's the capital of Bitcoin mining over there. So uh, what happened is like the uh, statistics says that over 30% of Bitcoin uh, computing power come from that area or the area surrounding uh, Chengdu. So, uh, so next time, if you have you guys have like chance to visit China and visit Chengdu, let me know so I can grab you a panda or something. Yeah, I'm uh, kidding. <laughs> you cannot grab a panda. So yeah. Uh, so back then we have around uh, 150 uh, megawatts kind of like uh, hydroelectric uh, computing power. And um, so we, we were mining around like uh, 300 Bitcoins uh, a month, but we saw at a very low price around uh, 3,000 to 4,000. So we, we are not that rich yet. <laughs> so yeah, um, so before that we were uh, proof of work focused and then uh, we moved, uh, we kind of like uh, uh, with its Chinese uh, policy, like a Chinese crackdown on Bitcoin mining and, 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 and crypto mining as a whole. So we kind of, uh, transform ourselves from a Bitcoin miner into a, uh, a, a Filecoin ecosystem builder. And uh, especially with the uh, FVM launched on March this year. Um, so uh, I believe Filecoin will be the, uh, just like what I said, will be the ball band, uh, ball, uh, backbone of the, uh, the, the Web3 uh, infrastructure. And uh, so, uh, so first I'm gonna talk about what is uh, AI data layer and what's the current solutions of AI data layer and what will be the uh, combination of, uh, of, of future solutions for, uh, of this data, uh, AI data layer and how uh, and what SFT Portico is doing uh, uh, on, the, on the concepts that, that the, uh, the, the, the future solution that I proposed and uh, 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 with the help of Filecoin ecosystem to, uh, to actually achieve that result. And uh, also I'm gonna uh, showcase a, so at the end I will showcase a, a, a AI data model that we train with the concept of the, uh, of the future solution of AI data layer and see how it will transform and, and revolutionize the printing industry in the coming few years. So what is AI data layer? 
Uh, in order to find this, the answer for it, we need to go back to the uh, uh, AI itself, technology uh, itself, to find the answers. So we have autonomous driving. You know, AI can be used for autonomous driving. And um, we are not talking about Tesla. I think there is a lot of uh, cheap brands uh, that as cheap as like twenty thousand dollars. I think it's an entry level like a kind of price for like a car in China. They have this uh, autonomous driving functionalities already. And uh, so I believe that in the future, it, it, it's a must for, for a car. And uh, AI can be used for education. So uh, a lot of schools in China right now, they are utilizing AI technology to uh, basically like, uh, uh, provide a uh, personalized uh, international kind of uh, or global, globalized kind of uh, environment. So enhancing those uh, teaching and the uh, learning experience. And also AI can be used for healthcare. Uh, Tencent, which is a company behind uh, WeChat, and um, they, they were utilizing uh, AI technology to uh, diagnose and uh, plan treatment for patients four years ago when I was in China, like uh, when I went back to China and was uh, working with them in a, in, a, in a project. And also AI can use for artistic creation. If someone familiar with uh, Mid journey and, and, and uh, this uh, AI generated uh, contents will may be familiar with this uh, picture. It's called uh, a Theater, the Opera uh, Special, which is a, uh, you know, this picture won the uh, Corrado State Fair last year. And uh, it become a, like, like, a, like a news, uh, it, it's, it's like big news because there were, this is a, the, one of the first AI generated pictures to uh, one such price. But we can tell like, um, if without data, all these uh, functionalities that I, I just mentioned could, could, couldn't be there to provide for us in the first place. So there's three components of AI, as a lot of people know that. We have data for training, and we have this computing power like GPUs or AI specific um, AI specifically like chips to use to uh, train those data, and then we have a, a model, like after this training. We have ChatGPT, we had MidJourney, we have uh, Stable Diffusion, uh, et cetera. But we put AI first is because we believe that data is the foundation of the AI technology. And and, and in order to get this model, we have to go through this computing power. But that's, but at first, we have to have data. So as we can tell that AI data, a, a data is a basically a layer or a, a, or, a, or a phrase where uh, the uh, AI being, a technology being uh, you know, trained and then get the model. So it's crucial for a machine learning and model training. And it is also a phrase where uh, you know, these companies or, or this, uh, this, this solution uh, collect and uh, anno uh, cleans and annotate this data, and also is a critical step in order to transform this raw data into a uh, useful and, uh, and, and, and meaningful insights. So let's look at the current AI data layer solution. Uh, according to a uh, the, uh, the generic uh, AI infrastructure stack created by Sequil, we will see that the um, model tuning, which is also the, uh, the, what, we, what we call data, uh, AI data layer, uh, is in the middle of that stack, which uh, you know, works as the, uh, the backbones of the whole technology. And we have data tuning uh, solution, like a large language model, and we have data annotation uh, solution like Scale, uh, which they did a very good presentation uh, yesterday about their solution. And we have Synetic Data solution, Greytail. But as we can tell, um, with tens of thousands of data created every day, we are, the quality of the data kind of like, like keep decreasing along the way. And the, um, the and, and the data processing speed needs need to catch up so we can actually go to, you know, actually uh, use this data to, to create some meaningful work. And also, the, um, 
we have like seven, I think there's over seven billion people around the world, right? We have different demands and we have, and our, 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 our demands are so diverse in a way that uh, the, the whole data market gonna create a, what we call a long tail effect, which is like, we, uh, a small, like 10% of people have like a very specific demands that I think a majority of this uh, solution can serve, but while the 90% of, of, of data or services are so diverse that data is so uh, you know, distributed in a way that it's, it's a long, uh, long tail effects that, and, and we, we have to have a open data market to solve this kind of problem. But in order to solve this problem, the, uh, the solution we are fighting should be in, the, uh, in a private and secure manner, that we are not losing our uh, privacy and security of the data along the way. So here's what I propose for the uh, solution, the future solution of AI data layer. So Filecoin or IPFS, IPFS will add it as a uh, backbone of this network to enhance the data quality and the security, and we will employ the deep in network uh, to improve the processing speed. And uh, so we have like physical locations of this storage providers or computing powers, and we are making sure that our 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 uh, divide, our storage providers are uh, are. Uh, obeying the rules of the, uh, of the lo local regulation rules when it comes to data or security, et cetera. So this is the future solution that we are, uh, we are proposing. But SFT protocol does even further to, a, to, to enhance this, uh, the, this AI data layer solution that we proposed. So in the, in the data quality uh, department, we are, a, we are kind of developing uh, autonomic labeling tools and some uh, scene-based data quality detection systems that the work is still going on and uh, to en enhance the data security even further uh, on the top of a Filecoin ecosystem. And uh, we are working with uh, different teams and uh, development uh, institutions to enhance the deep in storage and retrieval uh, capabilities for better performance. And we're, we, we will be doing even further or, uh, or uh, to work with uh, uh, the uh, local authorities even closer when it comes to onboarding more storage providers to uh, our uh, portal uh, according to regulation rules like GDPR and uh, CPRA, et cetera. So in a f if our vision become a reality, we will see a deep in platform with data decentralized and the trust between different parties and different players in this field uh, 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 tokenized, the trust tokenized. And also we're gonna have a intelligence or a data AI layer that could like help, a, uh, help arti artificial intelligence develop even, even intelligent. So uh, I'm gonna show you an example what we are doing here, uh, the data annotation. After that, I will show you an example, like a beautiful pictures and, 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 and uh, results that we get from this, uh, this, data mo uh, this AI data model. So uh, what happened is like we work with a lot of institutions and researchers in China to get a lot of uh, the, the data of uh, posters or craft sign, uh, craft sign and, uh, and, and other stuff, it's hard to get because they are not willing to, to uh, you know, give us in, because when we get it, they might lose the control of this. So we, we just got part of that data. Uh, what we do is we, um, we, we put this test data, uh, which makes like, uh, and, and also the partial virtual data uh, with this uh, laid out and overlaid. And also we have this uh, fully, uh, virtual data with Cynic data, some of them are. And also real life image, which is a street snap, uh, poster designed, and also some of these are like uh, craft products, uh, uh, photography kind of images. We put that into a training process of a ge uh, geometry and a visual and lang uh, natural language processing and to create a model that's useful for us to actually get a good pictures. 
So this is an example. We hire a bunch of people helping us annotating this, 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 uh, this picture. So I will give, we, we will ask them like, okay, what, what does it say? So what's the topic? What's the uh, title? Uh, what's the, uh, the, the gradient says? And what's the footer? And all this kind of stuff. And, and the positions. So in this picture, it's a, a very traditional Chinese kind of posters. When, when New Year comes, people just send to their friends and families for, you know, just for gradients and, and, and just, you know, show their happiness. Um, so this picture says, Happy New Year, and uh, I, I wish you a, a, all your dreams come true in the coming year and uh, achieving more and more uh, success along the way. And the footer has like a, like a very uh, beautiful uh, English calligraphy uh, uh, writing there. So after several months of training, right now we have a demo where people can put keywords like, what's your greetings? What is the sender? Uh, what is the receiver? And you can type even more like, uh, like the color or, or objects you want to show in this picture. We will get a very beautiful uh, poster that you can send to your friends directly. It's so unique in a way that uh, we are uh, basically uh, using some of these uh, uh, unique AI fonts, uh, fonts and also like globally unique images. And uh, it's a kind of like a harmony combination uh, of, 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 of Chinese characters and the pictures and, and, and some of this, uh, those objects. And uh, so it's, it's, it's gonna be good for all holidays. Um, it gonna, so we are targeting like individual customers in this, uh, for this service. So uh, Mid-Autumn Festival has just passed a few days ago. It's one of the most important festivals in, uh, festivals in China. And people will like send each one like uh, messages or pictures. And uh, so if you put some rabbit, moon, moon cake, or even like like autumn, lantern, and those kind of keywords, and, and, and it would generate a very beautiful posters for you to send. And it, it might be a little different than mid journeys that we kind of simplify, simplifies the process for people to actually get this picture. You don't have to write a long lines of prompts to, to get this result. And it's so unique in a way that you could, gen, you could create an NFT after it. And also, we're gonna use. We have been using this as uh, for like craft sign generation. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the correct uh, term for it, but it's more like uh, uh, you know we we see all this uh, business like buildings or stores put some like a signage over there with like different materials and and different topography uh, to make it look good. But I'll, chances are you're not getting the real image or impression of what it will look like before you actually make you know, design it or, or make it. So, uh, so it will lose a lot of time and, 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 and money uh, before you can actually see the, see the, see the real image of, of that. So what we do is we uh, put all this data into our model and we get a very good result uh, by basically put the materials that you want and the topography you, you, you like and the characters you, 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 you want to generate uh, on the top of this material. And then it would, it would generate very uh, uh, you know, high quality and, and visually appealing uh, kind of like effect images that you can see exactly what it, what it will look like in real life. So in this, we are targeting like uh, business customers, by the way. So now you can see the, uh, we, we applied it to uh, even more of Chinese uh, niche kind of like, like, like uh, characteristics like uh, like uh, this uh, sculpture, and also like uh, which means like you, you, you know, there's like very traditional kind of uh, Chinese artwork. And also we even put that in <clears throat> uh, like paper cutting. Um, so what it will look like in, in real life if you cut in that way. But uh, so we, give, we, we will like print it out before they can actually go to like cut it. And those are the ones that we are, uh, th those are, are the results generated by our AI data model, uh, uh, this AI model that we trained. But as you can see that some of them are looking very good. If you do the same uh, 
promptings or, or, or uh, you, you do the same kind of work in, in mid-journey and a state, uh, stable diffusion, you will see that they are so vague in a way that cannot even close to, uh, get close to where, what we want for this specific uh, uh, category. So we have a bigger vision for the future that for this, uh, uh, like Asia and Africa, there are so many uh, uh, culture that need to preserve and those data are so diverse in a way that when you want to get it, it's very hard. So we are trying to utilize Filecoin uh, decentralized storage network to, in, in, to incentivize those people who, get, who have this data to upload into the Filecoin so people can, and, and like institutions like us or, or, or companies like us want to use this data, have a chance to pay for it, and it will be a good solution for this kind of uh, uh, traditional uh, kind of a uh, traditional like, like kind of data preservation. So here is us, as of the protocol. Uh, so basically we're, we're, we're uh, doing liquid staking derivatives, but uh, we have the V1, V2 launched, and we have a liquidity pool uh, set up already. And, uh, but we are on the, uh, on the stage of onboarding more storage providers to provide us more uh, computing power and uh, 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 an infrastructure to create a deep in that can you know, trim, uh, conserve more uh, data storage and the AI data layer kind of like preservation and then uh, benefit the uh, AI technology in the future. So this is the, uh, the ecosystem that we, are cre we, we, we create for people to on, uh, onboard their data and how they can benefit from, from doing so. Mm, so data producers can uh, get, com uh, so data producers can uh, get commissions by putting their data f into our platform. And while we have uh, investors and uh, you know, getting this fat financial capital to uh, expand uh, and, and our staking value, and uh, we are uh, onboarding more storage providers to uh, provide inf infrastructure capital to, uh, to, to make our platform more like, useful for, for people to use while we have developers putting uh, human capitals to develop the D apps on, a, on this platform and it will provide utilities to the uh, data consumers. So they, so, so they will be create a whole ecosystem, uh, a circle for people to, who have data and who want to use data to, uh, to, to you know, utilize SFT protocol to actually get what, we, uh, what they want, in, especially for just the example that I show up. So in the future, we, are, uh, we, we're, we will focus on this uh, network capacity and the performance expansion, which we are doing already. And also we are uh, enhancing our ecosystem by, uh, uh, by basically expanding our uh, developer communities, and also uh, build more uh, partnerships with, uh, with other teams. And uh, also we are eager uh, to have more teams to uh, grow, you know, just to, to, to grow the uh, data markets. And we have good teams in Filecoin ecosystem that are already doing so, so I'm very happy to see that. And uh, I'm, I just can't wait to like, have more uh, cooperation with them in the future. Now this is us, and we have over two million a file a stick in our portico, and we have uh, uh, over, uh, you know, a um, hundred thousand kind of community with uh, in Twitter and in in, in Telegram, and uh, we have a we are the top five the DeFi smart contracts right now according to some uh, uh, rankings. Now this is our team. Uh, we uh, we our team is so diverse. Our background of uh, you know everyone's background is so diverse in a way that. Uh, uh, you know, some of them are in, in China, some of them in uh, in in uh, in, in uh, America, and but we, we, we kind of like have the same dream to a uh, basically uh, build stuff on the top of a Filecoin ecosystem and uh, provide our contributions for the AI industry. Okay, here's my uh, Telegram, and, and also there's a link tree for all the uh, links of our products. And if you are interested in that, uh, we, uh, I have a, a, a booth over there, and we can talk more about this, and uh, we can you know, see if there's anything we can do together. 
So thank you very much for your time, and uh, it's such an honor to be standing here, and uh, wish you guys have a good time.